Hello, good evening everyone. I'm Christian Estrada. I'm a finance major here at USF. And today my topic will be white collar crimes and blue collar crimes. And the reason I chose this topic is because uh, in chapter 10 in module four talks about the different type of crimes and it focuses a lot in white collar crimes too, but it doesn't talk as much as blue collar crimes. Uh, so today it tells you about the different type of crimes that they could be identified as blue collar crimes, but it does, they do not get that exact title. Uh, so my goal today is for you to be able to understand the difference between the two type of crimes and the crimes that fall under these two topics. So I'm going to start with blue collar crimes. So blue collar crimes are crimes that the wrongdoers are usually non-executives or people in the in the regular hard labor workforce. So the type of crimes that happen under this um, under this topic are robbery, assault, and drug trafficking. Those are the three main ones. And the other big thing about it is that we're really familiar with it. So that's why they're considered blue collar crimes. So because our type of crimes that we see on the television really often, usually they come in the news every single day. So those are the blue collar crimes. Um, shoplifting is a big example and robbery of a bike or the robbery of a phone. Uh, those are the big examples that will be considered blue collar crimes. So are those the crimes that we're always going to be familiar with. And, and every time that we think about the word crime, those will be the first things that will come to our head. Uh, the second point about the, this lesson is the white collar crimes. So the reason why they get this name is because most of the time the wrongdoers are high executives of a corporation or government officers. Um, and and the type of the type of crimes under uh, this topic are bribery, which is a really big one, um, uh, is stealing intellectual property and embezzlement. So. I'm going to talk to you about embezzlement and this happens when in big corporations most of the time and this is when uh, someone with access to financial information or to finances and ends up enriching themselves because of the access that they have to um, there was a big case in in lakeland florida uh, not too long ago that the cfo of southeastern university was enriching himself and the cfo is usually the guy the person who has the financial information and the financial access of a corporation in this case was at a school and the pers this person ended up enriching himself because of the access that he had to and the position that he has that, that this person held uh, the other type of crime i want to talk to you about is bribery and bribery is the most common one and this happens when uh, an organization or a person offers uh, something of value in exchange of favor uh, the, the most valuable thing that will be it would be an object or uh, or cash or anything else that a person will consider valuable um it's something a, a big case and that this went viral and was considered a worldwide scandal was the fifa gate uh, so the fifa gate occurred in 2014 all the way to 2017 and the and i'm going to tell you first who, who fifa gate is so uh fifa is the world soccer federation they oversee all the soccer federations worldwide so this big organization Many of their presidents were accused of of uh, accepting bribes in order to sell broadcasting rights to uh, to uh, to broadcasting networks uh, in South America, Central America, and many of these presidents took bribes from five hundred thousand, fifty thousand dollars, all the way to one point five million in order to favor other companies to obtain those rights. Uh, the other uh, type of bribe that they accepted is that they when the elections of hosting the World Cup, uh, they voted for certain candidates that paid them bribes in order to obtain their votes. Uh, in this case, it ended up happening. The FBI was the one in charge of this case and ended up finding out and they persecuted this um, this wrongdoers and they held them liable. Some of them ha had to return back their funds. Uh, some of them had to return any property uh, that they obtain after they accepted those bribes. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you is about intellectual property and stealing intellectual property is considered white collar crime. And the reason is because executives are the ones that have access to it. And the type of objects that are considered um, 
intellectual property are uh, coding of a software or uh, a recipe of such a Coca-Cola and KFC. Those two recipes are bigger, are really big. And in case the person, the people that have access to those recipes end up selling them or end up making them public, um, they are committing a white collar crime. Uh, so today, uh, that's all I had for you today. I hope that you have learned something out of this topic and uh, please uh, leave a feedback and I really appreciate all of you and I really appreciate, um, I would really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Enjoy your holidays and God bless you all.